everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a Mauritian chicken curry. This curry is one I've always loved. So much so that before I left Mauritius to go to university, my, my uncle's mother-in-law taught me how to make it. It's one of those dishes I had to learn how to make and to this day I can't make it without thinking about her. So we've got some chicken pieces. This is a heritage chicken and I, I've marinated the chicken in a little bit of salt, some ginger, and some garlic. So I've got a pot in which I've heated uh, a bit of rice bran oil. I'm adding some golden shallots that have been sliced. So it takes a few minutes for the shallots to soften. So just stir, keep stirring it regularly. The next thing I'm going to add is a few uh, fresh curry leaves. And stand back when you add them because they splatter. And when you see that the shallots are starting to soften, we add in some crushed ginger and garlic. So once the smell of the raw garlic disappears, you put in a bit of green chili. And the amount is up to you. You can use more or less depending on your taste. The next one I'm going to add is some sliced tomato. And as usual when making curries, when you add the tomato, it's time to put in a bit of salt. It helps to break it down and form a, a better sauce. Now it's time to wait a few minutes while the tomatoes break down. So you stir the curry until the tomatoes break down. And now it's time for the fun part, time to add the spices. As you can see, I never skimp on spice. Just give it a good stir and put in the chicken. Now if you're cooking chicken with bones, I put in the parts of bones first, since they take a lot longer to cook. And a bit of water. Give that a stir. It's starting to look like curry already. Okay, so when the chicken was half cooked, I added the, one, the boneless pieces as well as a few pieces of potato. The potato really soaks up the sauce and has a nice taste. It also helps to thicken the curry. So now that the chicken is cooked through, I'm going to add the other trick, which is a bit of garam masala. So whenever making a, a meat-based curry, once you turn off the fire, add a bit of garam masala to your curry and give it a good stir. It helps to wake up the spices revive any essential oils and it really makes a, a taste difference to your final dish. That's the trick to my meat-based curries. I always add a bit of garam masala once I'm finished cooking them. So those of you who've asked my, what my secret is, that's it. And this is pretty much done. I just need to add a little bit of torn coriander. Thank you for watching.